So I'm entering the most sacred place of this monastery. It is the monastery cell where Chopin used to be, where he spent the winter of 38, 39. Right now here there is a collection of the souvenirs of Chopin and Georges Sand. And the piano, actually the piano that you're going to see right now is um, uh, that the, the piano that I played at the concert is right now also in here. So I'll play something, of course. Right here we have, we have three parts of the cell. Here is the first part. This is the, the part of the entrance. And then here we have the wing, another part. These are the souvenirs connected with Chopin and Georges Sand, but here is mostly Georges Sand in this part of the cell. You see there is a, a photo, a famous photo of Georges Sand, so much later than when she was with Chopin. And here, here's the boat, the painting of a boat that Chopin and Georges Sand came to uh, Palma, to Mallorca. Uh, they traveled from Barcelona. This is how it looked like. And yeah, this, these are things connected with Georges Sand. And you see, I'll come back. There is also a door that leads to the terrace. Uh, I'll go there a little bit later. We come back right now to the main part, to the, to the middle, the, 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 the main part of the cell. Here, what is interesting, there is an interesting piece from the time of Chopin when he was here. This is the chair. So this chair was used by him at that time and Chopin had the Bach's well-tempered clavier with him. He was studying the whole time as he was here and he used to put his scores under this chair right here. Here we have Chopin. And let's go to the interesting part. So this is the cell. There are different things that belong to, to Chopin. There's here, here's the piano. I played this Steinway. It's not from the time of Chopin, obviously. I played the Steinway for, um, at my concert the other day. And here there are things that belong to Chopin. This is this is this is the vest that Chopin was wearing during his last concert, the last concert in Edinburgh. This is what he was wearing, and this is his death mask and his hand, and also the the painting on his deathbed. The famous painting. Here we have the portrait of Chopin, a wonderful portrait by Harry Schaeffer. And also of Georges Sand. His partner in this trip. And the flag of Poland. Here we have some other things. Here's the comb that belonged to Chopin. It's made from ivory. And there are the, the jewels of Georges Sand. And here there is a peak, the, the, the hair of Chopin. This is the real one. And it says on it, maybe you see it says, <laughs> poor Chopin. Here there are um, sketches of Maurice Song the son of Georges Sand, who studied with Delacroix. There is a, a sketch of Delacroix. That's the one. And these are sketches of Maurice Sand. And here we have the manuscripts, the original manuscripts of Chopin. We have the three etudes, the méthode de méthode. We have the nocturne in E major. 
from Opus 62. And we have the polymetric autograph right here. These are all the originals of Chopin. You can see how much he worked here on this nocturne. This is the nocturne. And this is the and this was the special piece, the polymetric autograph. So let me play something for you. I will play the mazurka in E minor that Chopin. Some people say that he composed when he was in San Ment in the villa in Palma, but uh, he actually also worked on it here. He, he never left the works in peace. <laughs> the magical atmosphere of listening to music that he was working on here he was playing for himself right here in this very in these very walls and then later in the 30s in the 1930s uh, there were concerts also here for a very public pu private public and all the great artists like Rubinstein and Corto they gave private concerts right here. Chopin wrote in one of his letters, which is interesting, that his bed was under one of these things. There is in this part of the cell, and there is also in the main part, this decoration. <sighs> special feeling, isn't it? Uh, for me, as an artist to play, that is, special is not the right word, even. It's not enough to describe the feelings also to listen to this to his immortal music composed right here in in these very walls and here we are on the terrace he had it at that time it was here there are the sketches of maurice son of the son of the roger sons there are sketches coming from here and you can see the valley of valdemosa from here This is the cell, the monastic, the monastery cell where Chopin was with Georges Sand and her children, where he composed 
second ballad, the second piano sonata, where he composed the preludes, where he finished them. He wrote the date at the end of January of 1839. Uh, we are here in the summer, it's August, but in the winter time, this place is dreadful. There are storms, there are thunder storms, there is everything. And when there is no heating, it's it's very difficult to survive here. And Chopin, who was sick with tuberculosis, for him it was especially, especially hard. It was almost unbearable. So we can only imagine what he felt being here. He was completely isolated from the outside world. Baima was far away. He was an outcast. He couldn't do anything and he was stuck because the roads, that I'll probably show you tomorrow, the road to Valdemosa was destroyed by rains. Yes, a lot of history. He stayed here a winter, but I think it defined his whole life. He never re really recovered after this stay. His health never really recovered. What he lived here, what he he loved here, he he can boast here. And we are lucky to have his music with us. And I think to to really understand him, understand his music, understand his soul, you have to see this. You have to imagine, you have to live. I have to say that in the evening, at night, it has a different atmosphere. You can almost see the ghosts of the monks of Valdemosa. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Chopin's cell. This is the most special place of all, probably, of all the places of Chopin. It meant really a lot to him. He was here almost 200 years ago, a little less. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next tour.